look at compound propositions. So these are formed from existing propositions using logical operators. And here we'll also talk about what these logical operators are. So first we'll define a truth table. So truth tables have a row for each possible truth value. of a proposition. In particular, depending on how many propositions are in your compound proposition, it'll have two to the n rows. It also has a column for each proposition. being concerned. So we'll do some very basic truth tables here as I define these logical operators. So we'll start with the negation. By negation we mean it is not the case. Dot, dot, dot. So if our original proposition is P, then the negation is denoted like this. We can also have a truth table. There's only one proposition here, which is P. So that tells me we'll have two rows, since two to the one is two. In particular, our proposition could be true or false. The negation changes it. It says where it's not true. So if our original statement was true, our negation will have to be false. And if our original statement was false, our negation is true. So the negation just changes the truth value. Let's do some examples. Three plus five equals four, if we want the negation. If the three plus five is not equal to four, I will fail this course, the negation. I will not fail this course. And you can see that only one of these is true, the other one is forced to be false, which does show, does correspond to our truth table. The next one will be the conjunction. So the idea of this is a proposition P and Q. And it's denoted by P with this wedge, Q. So P and Q is only true if both of them are true, which is what we know to be true with an AND statement. Here we have two propositions, P and Q. And two squared is four, so we will have four rows in our truth table. True, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. If we know two things are true, then they are, of course, both true. An AND needs both things to be true. So here P is true and Q is false, so the conjunction is false. If P is false and Q is true, the conjunction is false. And if they're both false, the conjunction is still false. Let's do an example. I will study is P and Q is I will pass this class. So P and Q, 
would be, I will study and pass this class. The next one we'll look at is the disjunction. The idea of this one is P or Q. And it's denoted by P with this V Q. Once again, we'll have four rows in our truth table since we have two propositions, P and Q. And with or, with or statements, we need one or the other to be true. And it's important to note that when we're dealing with or in logic, we could have both. So as long as at least one is true, the disjunction will be true. So we do consider one or the other or both. Example, we'll let P be you missed a class and Q you miss a quiz. So the disjunction, you miss a class or miss a quiz. It could be possible that you missed a class without missing a quiz. It could be possible that you missed a quiz without missing a class. Maybe the quiz is online. It could also be possible that you did both. You could miss a class where a quiz was given. We also have what's known as the exclusive or, and this is represented like this. And this one is the one where we exclude the case of being both. This is one or the other, but not both. So our truth table, Here we have both, so it would be false. We want one or the other. So here's the truth table for the exclusive or. This is used a lot less in logic than the other or, which is also known as the inclusive or.